Hi there, this is Kingsley. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Infinix Hot 11. Now the Infinix Hot 11 replaces the previously released Infinix Hot 10. So in this video, we're going to be finding out if you should upgrade to the Infinix Hot 11 or if the Infinix Hot 11 will actually be worth your money, all right? Starting out here with the design, the Infinix Hot 11 has a gradient vibe going on. The color I have here is called the Atlantic Blue. It is glossy and quite slippery to hold, so you might have to wear this device a case if you eventually get it. One thing I love about this design is that even though the device is very large, it's very easy to hold and it's very handy. On the right side of the Infinix Hot 11, you got the volume up and down keys and the power. And on the left side, you have a SIM tray which holds two SIM cards and a micro SD card. Also at the bottom of the phone, you have a micro USB, which I easily think could have been um, a regular USB-C because most devices in this price category, like the Redmi 10 for instance, have a USB-C. But it is what it is, you get a micro USB. You still get a headphone jack and then at the back of the device, you're going to get um, the fingerprint reader, which is super fast to unlock the device. Even when your hands are wet, it actually works pretty well. But overall, I love the design because the device is easy to hold. You can put it in your pocket easily. It's not going to be bulky and all that. When it comes to the specs of the Infinix Hot 11, you can actually get a variant that has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gig internal storage, or you can get a variant that has 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes internal storage, like the one I have here. The Infinix Hot 11 is powered by the MediaTek Helio G37. Now, the MediaTek Helio G37 is a very basic entry level chipset for phones that are not too priced up there. So, if you are buying the Infinix um, Hot 11, don't think you are going to be using it to perform very, very heavy tasks. It won't do that because the engine that it has is not built for that. This device is built for those that you want a good device that has an awesome battery that can last for more than a day and you can use it to do basic things like make phone calls, watch videos, watch YouTube, surf the net. If you, if you want to play very heavy games with this device, you might not um, get that awesome experience. What you get is the highest this device has played some games that I have played is in the medium settings range, right? So if you're getting this device, don't throw too much task at it. It might not be able to handle it. But so far, um, games like PUBG would play at um, medium settings or at loose graphic settings. That's what you get with this device. So know all of this before you actually um, buy this device. If you are going to be buying this device for gaming, you might want to look at other higher Infinix devices, just not this one. The display of the Infinix Hot 11 is 6.8 inches in size. This display has a 90 hertz refresh rate. However, this is not a HD display. This is a 720p display. But because of that high refresh rate, I haven't really been able to notice if the display is a 720p display or if it's a 1080p display because scrolling through it is very smooth. I've been able to read newspapers because I read a lot on the internet. I do a lot of research because of, of course, I'm a YouTuber. I have to do a lot of research to talk to you guys. So using this device during this period, doing a lot of research with it, using it for daily tasks and the screen has been awesome even during the day. I can actually use this screen out there when it's very bright and that is something that I really really wonder how they do it. You know this technology has gotten to a point now where even devices that are not as expensive as the Samsung Galaxy A series are doing almost what the Galaxy A series devices with AMOLED displays could do and the Infinix Hot 11 is one of those devices that gives me that kind of vibe you know. So if you get this phone, the high refresh rate is not turned on by default, you have to go into the settings and turn it on. But as soon as you turn that on, you don't have anything to worry about. That is because some people will actually complain that higher refresh rates actually drains the battery of your phone. Not with the Infinix Hot 11 because the Infinix Hot 11 has a 6000 milliamps battery. So because of that 6000 milliamps, you can enjoy that high refresh rate with no issues. And that is something that I really, really like about this phone. Now, talking about that 6,000 milliamps battery, this battery can take you for as long as you want. This battery can take you, if you're not a heavy user like me, this battery can take you for as long as two days without you needing to charge it. However, the device does not have fast charging, so it takes a lot of time to charge. But what I usually do is, once I come back to the house, I plug it there um, to the power source, and I leave it to take as much time as it wants to charge. Um, but once it charges, I'm good to go, so you can use it as much as you want. The Infinix Hot 11 has a triple camera setup, so you have a 50 megapixel main lens at the back, and then you have a two megapixel depth sensor and one AI lens. And then in front of the device, you have an eight megapixel sensor. 
With that 50 megapixel main lens, the Infinix Hot 11 takes very good pictures. But however, some of the pictures don't really turn out well, but 90% of the time you're going to get awesome pictures. The times where I have not really gotten good pictures with this phone has been when I take pictures in a place where it's not really well lit. So this phone doesn't have um, night mode and all that. So if you want to take pictures with it, you might want to take pictures in a bright and sunny day or in a place that is well exposed. That's where you that's where these cameras or that's where the cameras of this phone shine if you take pictures in a place that is not well lit the result might not be so good but so far i have been able to take very good pictures with it now for the price you are paying for this phone and what the camera gives you i don't think there's much to complain about now for just 89,000 naira or 190,000 naira you're going to get a display that has up to 90 hertz refresh rate and then you're going to get 4 gigs of ram you get either 64 gig or 128 gigabytes internal storage you get the mediatek helio g37 you get a 50 megapixel uh, main lens you get android 11 which is upgradable to android 12 and then the biggest part of it all you get up to 6000 milliamps battery which can take you for a day or two depending on how you use your device i think it's a good deal if you ask me so what i need you guys to do is you can go out there to any showroom or to any infinix authorized store and then look at this device yourself see if it's something you would like compare it to other devices and then you um, actually go ahead and pick it if you want to but i think with the competition around this device this might be your best bet so previously we looked at the techno camon 18 so i'll leave that video here up in the youtube card you can click up here now and go and also watch that video right until the next time my name is kingsley i'll catch you again in the next one